Summer is one of the best months to get out to your farmer's market and pick up tasty and local produce. Here to show us what's in season right now is Frank Ginzale from Frank's Quality Produce at Pike Place Market. How are you? Good, I how are you? I think it's the watermelon I'm smelling, I right? know. They're from Oregon. They're just crisp oh, and crunchy and, you know, they don't have that mealy taste to them at all. They're just perfect, great for summer. Is this a seedless? I don't see yeah, a seed yeah, anywhere. Yeah, seedless is an organic watermelon. It's got a, um, like a darker flesh to it. Oh, and, yeah. And so our skin to it. And so it, these are these are something to look for. They're really tasty. Yummy. Okay, so tell me what's in season. Shall we start on this end? Yeah, kind of a little bit of everything right now. I mean, if for salads, all the lettuce is coming locally. Most mm. of it from Carp Needle Brothers down in uh, the Kent Valley. Mm -hmm. um, you see them all over the place. The Corn red leaf is so Washington, good if you're yeah. not using Using that, you yeah, should be. Yeah, it's wonderful. Uh, all these little mixed squashes are coming locally uh, from like Chehalis and places like that. Green beans from Eastern Washington, they're just starting to come on this side of the mountains now. So you got the wax beans, regular green beans. These are Romano beans. They're Look really tender those. also. Yeah, they're kind of something That's special. You'll see some yellow ones out there too every once in a while. They're tender, just like a green bean. They're, mm -hmm. they're really something to, something to try. If you Can see I take them. you back to the corn for a minute? Do you like the white or the yellow? Do you care? What's the uh, diff? I mean, I personally, I like it all. There's also the bicorn, which is kind of yellow and white kernels in one. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's so good this time of year. I, I prefer, I guess, the yellow. I kind of go for that. But, um, I mean, I, I Whatever you like. I like it all. Whatever yeah, you really like. Good. Yeah. Some great tomatoes. Yeah, beautiful the heirloom, heirloom tomatoes. tomatoes are coming into season now. Um, you'll start seeing a lot of local tomatoes coming in right now in some of your farmer's markets. Beautiful, great time for you know caprese salads or just sliced oh, on yeah. on some of your uh, your leafy greens and whatnot. You don't even need dressing on the caprese. You can for, forget about the balsamic. No, These are just so some good. Buffalo mozzarella and those and some some basil and you're good to go. Which ones were the ones I liked so much last year? The Merlot. Uh, brandy, wine, brandy wine, I think. Brandy wines? Brandy wines, yes. Okay, let's talk about some of the smaller tomatoes. Yeah, what do are, you look for when you go shopping for those? Well, this time of year, you, you don't even have to do much. I mean, they're <laughs> they're wonderful. These are like candy. You, you don't even need to put them on. So you just eat them like a snack. I mean, they're just beautiful. These are the Sun Golds. These are my favorite. Mm -hmm. They're sweet, crisp, and really, really nice. That sounds great. And then through here, what do yeah, we have? All those are black and white currants. These are uh, coming from... Uh, Puyallup, which is really nice, same along with the blackberry, raspberry. Way to go, Puyallup. Blueberries are coming uh, from Mount Vernon up north. And so we have a few golden raspberries that come in every once in a while that are really sweet and really nice. Let's talk about how we might preserve these. If I want to buy a whole bunch of blueberries or any of these fruits, are they all freezable? And if so, what's the best way to do it? I'm going to um, have a snack. I would only really freeze the blueberries unless okay. you're going to puree or do something like that with the raspberries or blackberries. That's fine. But blueberries, you want to lay them out on a cookie sheet mm -hmm. and just put them in the freezer loose and let them freeze and then just bag them in little, you know, Ziploc bags and you just bring them out. That way they're not just one clump. You That's know, what I so, wanted you to yeah. remind us of because sometimes people think, oh, well, they're not stuck together. I'll throw them in a freezer bag and then you have one big giant exactly. blob. Yeah, if you, you freeze them individually, they just they work out perfect and they last all year. And this is the time to do it. The price is great. The quality is great. So go get them. Yeah. All right. You brought back my favorites. The I know. I, know. I, I love them. them. They're so, so much. good. <laughs> yeah. These are from uh, Ralph's Greenhouse. Um, and that's local company and they, they do orange, they do straight purples, they do the mixed colors, mm -hmm. they're sweet, uh, they're all organic, it's just, it's just a beautiful product. So. And we're seeing more and more people saving the stems to make stock with and that kind of thing. You don't have to throw that out if no, you don't want to. No, not necessarily. Radishes. Radishes. I love radishes. Yeah, local radishes, um, beautiful, you know, crunchy, you know, it just goes along with the, you know, what, what kind of is in season now, the mm -hmm. lettuce and things, you make lots of salads, summertime salad, things like that, and it's just beautiful. And then also the pickling cucumbers locally too. So for anybody that wants to make some pickles, now now's the time of year to do it. Yeah, it's yeah. not that hard no, either not that once hard. you get going yeah. on it. Okay, let's talk about the melons. Yeah, lots of different varieties of melons. Um, these actually are still out of California, but um, we're going to start seeing some local cantaloupes uh, probably at the end of this week. And um, then you'll start seeing some more variety, especially at the, uh, the smaller farmers markets where local farmers will bring their product. You'll oh. see a bunch of different varieties of local melon. Well, you can't go wrong at the farmers market, but what are we looking for? If we we're in the grocery store, how do we know things are fresh? It's always, uh, it's always the smell. I mean, you just got to smell it. If it okay. smells sweet, you can smell some sugar in them. Um, your chances are you're going to have good melon. I mean, you don't want to look for anything that's too green. Um, you know, that just seems to be on a little bit of the underripe side, but okay. pick it up, smell it, and uh, try I, it I out. I don't thump and, it, I don't, don't do any of that. Just watermelons, I, I actually give the watermelon a little pat. If it's got a nice crisp okay. sound to it, usually it's uh, pretty good. So. Okay, very good. Yeah. And then, 
And yeah, Some we're getting into, we're getting into our season now where peaches, apricots, nectarines, um, cherries, and cherries are kind of going to start coming to an end here pretty soon. We've had a good season on those, but um, now we're going to get into the peaches and nectarines. We'll see some uh, some plums and, and and some stone fruit coming Look in. Look at so. these cherries, you guys. Yeah, I mean, this, has this been good. an extraordinary summer for this? It it's just been seems a like pretty the good year. So yeah, good. I think uh, California had kind of a rough season, but Washington came on strong, and yeah. it's just been a great year. Yes, we win. All right, let's talk about the the cooking demonstration we're yeah. about to do with some of your produce. For Chef sure. Thomas Cullen is right over there in our kitchen. Yeah, um, he's from Woodman Lodge in Snoqualmie, and he's going to have to cook with three things you've picked out what did yes. you pick for him well um, first we're gonna go with some local green beans All right uh, they're crisp tender it's just a great product to use right now uh, of course heirloom tomatoes yes. gotta have them and then peaches you, can't, you just can't go wrong with the peaches okay that's a very interesting combination thank you very much so up next we'll see if our chef is up to the cooking challenge with Frank's produce I have a feeling he is we're gonna find out after this break